Kishwar says, if the husband tells his wife not to go out or not to do something, and if you did it, you would be divorced. Will she actually be divorced if she did it? And what should the man do if uh, he wants to uplift that condition? This statement is known to the scholars as conditional divorce. And what do we mean by conditional divorce? It means that you make it as a condition. If you do this, you're divorced. If you raise the cup, you're divorced. If you open the door, you're divorced. If you don't cook food by 2 o'clock in the afternoon, you're divorced. Now, real men don't say this. Only people with little intellect who are unable to control their wives or at least to communicate with them, they would use this format in this condition. And it's a long issue of dispute among scholars. The most authentic opinion is, it depends on your intention, the man's intention. So the woman doesn't know what's his intention. A man says, if you go to your sister's house, you're divorced. And the woman goes to her sister's house and she comes back. The man calls, Sheikh, I said so and so and so. What to do? Should I kick her out of the house? Not my wife anymore? Or what? Is there an expiation? The question is directed to the husband. When you said that statement, did you intend to divorce her? If the man says, by Allah, I did not intend to divorce her. I just wanted to stop her from going there, there because every time she goes to her sister, she comes back and she twists her mind and she nags me and demands more money, etc. So I just wanted to prevent her from going there. I have children. I love my wife. In this case, we say this is not a divorce. This is a conditional oath and it was broken. Go and feed 10 poor people. If the man says, my sister-in-law runs a brothel and only prostitutes go to her house. And I told my wife, if you go there, you're divorced because I don't want to have a wife having any connection with such bad reputation. In this case, the divorce takes place and Allah knows best.